Let me give you a scenario and see if this is familiar to you. Your algo strategy has identified a trade opportunity. All the rules of the strategy were fully satisfied and the algo now confidently goes ahead and places the buy order. Within a few seconds, the price reverses and your SL is hit. Sounds familiar, right? Well, this is the story of most new algo traders. In this video, I'll explain one of the most common reasons why this is happening. We'll also talk about the trading use best support and resistance indicator and how it can help the situation. We'll walk you through its Python version that I built. I will also explain how you could use this Python utility for free in your own algo and say goodbye to bad trade entries. So let's get started. It's your first time here. Welcome. My name is Vivek and I'm a financially independent algo trader. This channel is all about building a community of algo traders. We discuss everything about algo trading using Python, building and practicing trading strategies, market updates, and much more. Please do visit our community website, fabtrader.in. Also do check out my other YouTube channel, Fab Wealth, where I talk about my own financial independence journey and share tools, methods, and strategies that helped me achieve my financial freedom. Thank you. During my initial days of algo trading, I used to run into that scenario very often. I used to think I have the perfect strategy. I've backtested it multiple times. My confidence was high. And yet when the first order went out, within a few seconds, the price reversed and my asset was hit, right? It was a bit frustrating because the win ratio was nowhere closer to what it looked like when I was backtesting it. Um, I know the, there's nothing wrong with the strategy. There's nothing wrong with the timing of the trade as well. But what I did find out is that the, the problem was with the, the price point at which the order went out. Most often what happens is the buy order is placed very close to a, an existing resistance line. So when the price starts moving, uh, it hits that resistance. And then even if it is temporarily pulling back, uh, you know, you would, your SL would hit and then the price would start continuing in that direction that you wanted it to. Similarly, in case of a sell order, if you place it very close to a support, uh, you, would, you would end up with the same situation where the, the SL being hit. When I was looking for a solution to this, I came across this particular wonderful uh, trading view indicator called the Support Resistance Dynamic by the Lonesome Blue. I'm sure you're aware of uh, this indicator. It's one of the most popular indicator on trading view, uh, and one of the most simplest and the accurate indicators uh, that you can come across. The way this indicator works is very simple. All it does is basically looks at all the turning points of the prices, and then generates these various pivots. And then it also generates channels, equal size channels. And then more pivots within that channel indicates that you know there is a lot of there's high chances of price basically turning back because in the history, uh, that, that particular zone uh, acted as either a support or a resistance. And based on that, this indicator draws these uh, SR lines. And when I paper tested it, it, it worked wonderfully well. But now the, the only problem is this is in PineScript and this is on TradingView, but my algo platform is based on Python. Uh, so there was no way I could use this indicator directly there. Uh, and that's when I had to basically sit down and uh, rewrite this PineScript into Python. And this is the Python code uh, for that indicator. Uh, it simply requires NumPy and Pandas as dependencies to be installed. Um, and the way it works is pretty simple. You give it a symbol, and then you, you say what time frame you need this on. Uh, right now, I've given a, a daily candle, and then you can even go as low as five minute, and then it'll still work. And then once you run it, it'll provide you the, uh, the support and resistance levels as seen on the, the trading view indicator. This code is available for you to freely download this from our community website. I'll provide the link as usual in the description. Uh, the only change you might have to do is currently I'm using Zeroda to get historic uh, data. So depending upon which broker you're currently using, uh, you know you may want to change the code a little bit to get the historical data. So this this particular line is what you might have to change. This this function is you'll have to replace it with your own function to get the data. Uh, apart from that, the code works just fine. Now that the the code is run, uh, let's try and compare what we got here and see if this is accurate uh, with with what we see on TradingView. Well, on TradingView, we have these uh, five levels, and this is exactly what the, the Python also uh, provided us. So we know that the, the exact numbers match. So we know that the code really works. Uh, so now that you have the code, you can run it on your own for various uh, instruments. And then please do give me some feedback on how this is working. Well, now that we know that the indicator is there, the Python version works and all that, the, the question now is like, okay, how do we really use this in your algo, right? So the way I'm currently using it is, uh, there is a small function which takes in the symbol that I want and then the price point at which I'm trying to uh, you know, enter the trade into. And then the, the, the function basically checks if it's very close. If it's a long trade, it will basically obviously look for all the resistance levels. If it is a short trade, it will look for all the support levels. And then if my price, the entry price or requested price is very close to uh, any of the levels, and then it basically returns back either a true or a false, confirming whether I should go ahead with the trade or not. Based on that, the Python is already coded in such a way that it tries to avoid such trades. Uh, and thereby, you know, you, you avoid some some bad entries. In case you want me to, uh, you know, provide that code as well, uh, the, the code that I just talked about, 
uh, please do mention that in the comment. Um, if there is enough interest for it, I'll create another video where I'll also provide you the entire code, uh, which can do all of that, the spot checking, uh, and then you can you can just take that and plug it into your uh, respective algos. If you genuinely found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you soon in another video. And until then, take care and happy trading.